is this on hey guys in this video i'm gonna show you how to do affiliate marketing on youtube shorts by combining the power of ai with canva in order to generate you lots of traffic which can convert to lots of commissions to make sure this works i went ahead and validated the idea i picked a niche on a product to promote i then made the videos in canva for free posted the shots and in no time i was able to gain me this number of views and this commissions so the first thing you need to do is decide on a niche what's gonna be the topic of your shorts channel okay in order to find a good niche all you could do is just search it into google pop popular YouTube shots niches and then from there you could really just pick whatever you think you would like as long as you can find an affiliate product for that niche. Once you've decided on a niche what you're gonna do is head over to Clickbank or Digistore to find an affiliate product. So for this example I'm going to decide on the pets niche. Head over to Google and search in Clickbank. Now once you're on Clickbank you're gonna head over to the affiliate marketplace okay. You see this section over here this is where you're gonna pick an affiliate product within your niche. So again for this example we're using the pet niche. So in order to find this we'll scroll down to the home and garden section and at the top as you can see animal care and pets. Always you need to rank by gravity. This has a gravity score of 87.5 it's also number one so of course we're gonna promote it. Now before you promote a product you must check out the sales page and the affiliate page. Now the reason you want to check out the sales page which is this one when you click here you want to see what your lead is going to land on. If the page looks spammy or scammy they won't convert not a chance. So once you like the landing page that the lead is going to land on you need to check out the affiliate page the reason you want to do this is because as you could see they offer many things that you could use in promoting this product for example banners free giveaways besides them offering you those options you always want to check their page to see if they say anything about what you cannot do in regards to promoting their products okay now once you're okay with the landing page as well as the affiliates page and you find all the necessary information all you now need to do is get your affiliate link to promote this product okay you click where it says promote and it's going to show you your account nickname you then click create hop link once you do that it's going to give you your unique affiliate link this is what you're going to use to actually promote this product and get paid when people go through the funnel and make a purchase okay copy this link and you're going to save it in your notepad if you don't have notepad on your laptop you can just search in notepad online like memo notepad and then you can just put your link in here and you're going to save this for later okay now if clickbank isn't available in your country you can do this exact same process using digistore 20 which is available worldwide okay now for my international viewers if clickbank or digistore isn't available in your country all you need to really do is head over to google and search affiliate marketplace available in and put your country name for example nigeria once you've done that you will see a list of affiliate marketplaces that you could promote products from i'm not sure personally about those marketplaces as i haven't used those but this is just another option for you guys who are unable to use those two marketplaces so moving forward once you have your affiliate link now you need to begin generating those shots now in order to create the shots you actually need to come up with a script now i know it can be time consuming trying to come up with a script especially when you want to be pumping out lots of videos this is where riseme comes in it's an ai software which can generate lots of different scripts for you for free and it's extremely simple click start writing you'll see in this corner where you can actually set the setting of your script where it says tone you're gonna select informative and choose choose a use case you're gonna set that as blog section writing now the next thing you need to do is give writer a topic to actually write about coming up with that topic is quite simple so for example our niche is dog and the product we are promoting is a dog training course so the best thing to do is come up with content around training your dog in order to get content that people are searching for what you're gonna do is head over to YouTube and then you're gonna actually search into the search bar for example how to train your dog to okay now once you've done this you're gonna see all the searches that people are searching for all these things are suggestions that you could tell writer and it's gonna come up with a script for that and you can never run out of content because you see we have how to train your dog to we can add a further word for example an s how to train your dog to sit stay stop biting you put in different letters and you will always get suggestions so now for example with using the s we're gonna do how to train your dog to sit now that we have an idea we're gonna head back over to writer and you see it where it's section topic you're gonna type that in the next thing you're gonna do is add sections you want it to give you the information in steps keep it to three or four steps keep it as simple as you can so all you're gonna write is step one step two step three now once you've done that you're gonna put creativity level to none because you want this to be factual information not fiction variant set it as one okay once you've done that all you need to select is write for me voila so now that we have the content as you can see it needs a little bit of tweaking whenever 
whatever you're doing this for your niche it will provide you with content all you need to do is just edit it a little bit in case anything sounds a little bit strange and then you see once you have this if you want more you can get more say step four if i wanted to add another step into this and then i can say write for me it's gonna write out another paragraph for you right under that and you didn't really have to put much thought into it okay simple so now that you have a script all you're gonna do is you're just gonna copy your scripts head back to your notepad and then you're gonna paste it in now you have your affiliate link and now you have your scripts now it's time to actually create that video and you're going to create that video using canva i'll leave a link for that in the description you could use the free version or the paid version it's up to you now once you come over to canva all you need to do is make a search for youtube shots this is where you'll be able to actually design your shots and once you do that it's gonna show you all the different templates they have so if you see a template that's along your niche for example if you're in the niche of let's say the metaverse you have a template right there you don't need to really work on anything or fitness but for this method i'm showing you how to do this using a blank template so go ahead and click create a blank youtube shot template now i'm going to show you how you can design this now this way of designing will convert because people like things that seem more original so you need to put some time into this if you want to see conversions now when designing your first page the thing you need to put is what your video is about so our video is how to train a dog to sit so i'm just going to change the color of this you can click where it has the color wheel and you can select the color you want if you don't like the color you can adjust the color using the color wheel and make it lighter darker whatever you prefer and then i'm gonna look for a dog element but if you want you can use actual photos like as you can see there's cut out photos for my sake i like to keep it cartoony because i think that's cute you could do whatever you wish so i'm gonna select a dog image okay now once i've done that i'm gonna adjust it a little more in the center make it a little bigger because you want it to be viewed okay then you're gonna add a text and this is the text of what your video is about okay how to train your dog to sit and then i'm just gonna change the font over here at the top as you could see i'm gonna change it to bobby jones because i like that font okay so now that i have the text that i like to make it bigger you see you can just click here or you can type in the numbers now after that's done i'm gonna add glasses on the dog guys be creative with your design just make it unique see how to train your dog to sit with professor wolf something like that just pick something that goes with your niche but guys this cartoony format it works so just make sure that you get it done like that now for the text we're gonna add in an animation okay because this is youtube we don't want to just slap in a bunch of pictures okay so you're gonna click text you're gonna head over to animate so i'm gonna add in a typewriter text click it in and then you can select the speed or not but i'm just gonna leave it at the regular speed and then i'm gonna say on both so on entrance and on exit okay i'm also gonna give a an animation for the glasses and uh, that's gonna be i'm thinking pop so now we can see our first slide to preview your side you just gotta click on your side and you see that little play button over there you click it okay and don't worry if it's too slow you can adjust this by just make your clip short okay and then it will be faster now once you do that all you really need to do is you see those three dots you click on those three dots and you click duplicate page now you have another page with the formatting of the first page so this is where it's super easy all you do is click onto the second page and then you head over to where you have your script in your notepad you're gonna copy step one head back over to this you're gonna backspace this and then you're gonna paste in your script here okay you're just gonna go ahead and make it smaller let's say size 80 we're gonna take professor wolf we're gonna delete this and then now this is where you look for a moving animation okay there's still one that can work but i noticed that the moving one works better so you're gonna head over to elements and i'm gonna search in dog once again and i'm gonna head over to graphics and i could use any of those i like this dog that's moving side to side i'm gonna click that dog and we're gonna get rid of mr wolf okay you can just adjust your clips it's very easy remember we used the template from before so look if we put this at a start click play do you understand once you've created the first page it's simply copy and paste from there so now that you have this you're gonna again duplicate go copy step number two okay you're gonna go back to your video take this out make sure you're on the third slide okay you're gonna backspace it out and then you're just gonna paste it in okay again if you click play it's already formatted it's all there you don't have to do anything so go ahead and do that for all of your steps so now that i've copied and pasted all the scripts created by ai this is what we have okay And once you have that done you're gonna add your call to action okay so what i recommend you do you use your same intro kind of for your outro so i'm gonna duplicate the intro but then i'm gonna drag it and drop it to the last section then over here what you're gonna write is simple as this link in description to learn more you don't want to come off as so desperate like click link in description now no keep it simple keep it cute and then you can add in a simple arrow pointing down below so they know now you have your shots video almost ready having a little music in the background can make this shot go from 
from right now it's at a five to make it go to an easy eight so in order to find music to add to your background you're gonna head over to pixabay.com now once you're at pixabay all you need to do is search for the type of music you want hit play and once you're satisfied with the music you're hearing all you're gonna do is then click download and then that's easy it's free so then you're gonna head back over to canva where you have your video and you see where it says uploads this is where you're gonna go and locate the file in your computer to upload but when you found the one you like all you have to do is click on it and then canva is just gonna import it into your scene just like that now it took our video from a five to an eight okay now this is where you need to add in audio 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 is very important it helps boost your video you can add audio two ways you can record it yourself over here canva allows you to do that or you can use text to speech now i know some people are 50 50 on text to speech i personally don't really care because if it's bringing me the views and the commissions i don't care if it's my voice or not now for your niche it might differ you have to experiment see which one performed best and then that's the strategy that works for your channel okay so first you need to go to a free text-to-speech website ttsfree.com so what you're then gonna do is you're gonna go back to your notepad and then you're gonna get your script and then you're gonna paste it in okay what you then need to also do is have your title in there now once you've done that all you need to do is you select your talkers then we're just gonna lower her voice pitch a little bit so she sounds a little bit different in comparison to other TTS you then need to just click on very okay so then once it's done all you do is save mp3 and then it's downloaded you might get a pop-up all you do is click close so once it's picked done, you're gonna head back over to canva and you're gonna do the same process to upload your free speech okay once you've added your file into canva all you need to do is the same process simply click onto it and then canva is going to add it as an overlay onto your video now it's time for editing and refining so you're gonna hit play and then you're just gonna hear what it says okay once you finish hearing the first part all you then need to do is you're gonna click right where the line is and then you're gonna right click on that and you're gonna click split audio okay because that's how long this clip is gonna be then you're gonna just bring this so that these two track lengths are the same so now that first part was good now for the second part you do the same thing you listen to what the speech is saying and then where she stops reading the text you're gonna cut it there and adjust the video clip now once you have your design ready to go all you're gonna do is click where it says share and then you're gonna click download and then you're gonna download as an mp4 and hit download remember shorts must be under 60 seconds so when you're creating these videos just make sure it's below 60 seconds so once you have the actual shots downloaded you're gonna head into your youtube studio okay and now creating a youtube channel is very easy you could find an article on how to do it using google or find a youtube video now once you're in youtube studio you're gonna click this button where it says upload videos once you've done that you're gonna select the short file that you created from canva and then youtube is then going to import your short file now when it comes to shots you don't need to have a thumbnail that's a good part of it you already have your title how to train your dog to sit and then in the description you need to be sure to add in hashtag shots okay just so that youtube knows that it's a shots for sure the next important step is no it's not made for kids unless your video is made for kids you select that then you're gonna click where it says show more now when it comes to tags always have the tag shots and then the name of your channel add in a bunch of tags you think people would use for if they were searching your video and here are just some examples of tags you can use depending on your niche now when it comes to thumbnails you select the best one i'm just gonna click the first one now you need to add in your affiliate products you want to make this process seamless so professor wolf says click here for more keeping the theme of your video you don't want to seem like an aggressive seller nobody likes that you want to seem playful but again that depends on your niche for this niche playful so we're gonna head over to our memo notepad and we need to grab our affiliate link right copy your link and then you're gonna head to your description and you're gonna paste it in now once you have your link and your video you're gonna head over to visibility and then you're gonna set public and then you're gonna hit publish okay now once you've done that you can start gaining that traction to drive that traffic to your affiliate link okay now once that aspect is done in order to create other videos you have the template all you do is once you get the script from a writer using your other topic for example how to train your dog to walk on a leash all you have to do is copy and paste the script into this and then all you do is paste that script into the text to speech and then paste that new speech in and then you're ready to go and that's how you're generating the traffic for your affiliate link shots are known to go viral but i recommend you upload one to three times a day however many you're able to upload on your schedule and again guys you don't want to seem aggressive with this you just want to keep it cute and steady and you're gonna see the growth you're gonna see the views you're gonna see the clicks and you're gonna eventually see the conversions okay guys if you learned something from this video be sure to check out this other video on my channel because i can guarantee you would learn something you already didn't know mm -hmm.